we're just about ready to start epoxying the fins in. Um, but we need to scuff up this bottom area here so that the epoxy will stick to it. And Matt Mach 1 recommends using a hobby knife and scoring it um, like this one here. So basically you can take a, a, a ruler, um, line it up with the uh, corner here, and just make, it, make a score line. Like that, and then just just do cr cross hatches along the length of it, like this. And this will give the epoxy something to grip onto. And of course, you need to do both sides of all the fins. Okay, and then of course we need to test fit the fins into the slots. And I've found plunging the front in first, getting it to the end, and then trying to rotate it down seemed to work best for me. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to mix up some epoxy and apply it to the base and then plunge them in. Um, but I don't have any mixing cups here, so I'm going to pause and grab a mixing cup and mix up some epoxy and then I'll just epoxy them up for you. Okay, I just got a little bit of epoxy because we're not going to put much on the fin. Again, this is to just tack it in place. Just putting a little bit on the bottom. Okay, and we do have to align it, so I like to take it and look down the tube, make sure that it's going straight up rather than this way. It's not going to matter too much to the flight of the rocket if it's off to the side like this. It's still a straight fin, it just doesn't look as nice. Um, when it's straight up. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the other ones. And um, the hard part is once you got them all together, um, I think it's best to stand the rocket up like this. There's not a lot of epoxy in here, so it's not really going to run. We just want to make sure that the fin doesn't come up uh, like that. because then it's not as strong and it's going to look funny.
epoxy right here in the corner, so I'm just going to wipe that off. This is going to get filled with a fillet anyway, so don't have to worry about it too much. And these little holes that we drilled, that's also going to be filled later with some epoxy. It's going to be underneath the fillet, so you probably won't see it. You want to try to get them as close to the root edge as possible, but at the same time, you need to leave enough room so you can stick the syringe in there and pump it full of epoxy. So I want to just make sure all the fins are in, make sure they're aligned straight, and then I'm going to stand it up. Okay, so I'm going to let that harden, and once it's hardened, then we'll come back and we'll start the next step of putting in those internal fillets.